bit of a conversation. It doesn't come to y'all until like the third verse. The, the first two verses, are, it's amazing how he took me from Iraq. And now I'm in church every Sunday in a suit with a wife and family. It, it really, I can tell you better than I can show you. Check me out. Sometimes you amaze me when I think about these rhymes and this ministry you gave me. You took my spirit off of life support. You didn't let me slip when I was living in sin, popping off at the lip. You didn't you turn your back. It's like the prodigal son. You could have left me out the star, but you welcomed me on. Drank me with the finest, treated me with the best. Even though my life doesn't always confess the sacrificial lamb that is your son, Jesus Christ. You gave me a second chance to try and get it right, and so I'm taking them back because I know I don't deserve it. But you chose me anyway, so I owe you my service. A lifetime contract and the blood is my signing bonus. I just want to thank you for always covering us. My life is my testimony. I give it up to you, and until you call me home, I'm going to rock this mic with you. That's what I'm saying. I don't really care what's going on. As long as I'm writing these rhymes and I'm in that Bible and you guys are popping your head and clapping your head, I'm coming back, I'm rocking this mic until he calls me home. That's the concept. Now it's a crazy process when I'm writing these raps. Making folks move bridge and generational gaps. I thank you for resuming through these lyrical gifts. And I thank you for using my mouth as spiritual lips. Cause I could be like the rest with these vocals I spit. Psychotic conveyor belts of babbling nonsense. But you love me out the bunch and task me with the mission. Knowing that your boy ain't about to be quick. So I humbly accept and I submit my request. So I could ball out of control throughout the whole process. I'm the lyrical maestro with that lyrical title. Spitting lyrical bitter so them suckers just might know. I'm verbally gifted and I'm spiritually blessed and it's hard for anybody on the earth to contest. What the Father has done for me makes me feel invincible. What he called me to do is really incomprehensible. Oh, the third verse, this is for y'all. I'm going to be so proud of you. I've been in that word. I've been, I've been taking this stuff out of that word. If you got a pen and a pad or if you're good at remembering, Remember these. I'm stacking crowns up in heaven. Five to be precise. James 1 and 12 is where I find my crown of life. Feed the clock to a rhyme and tell them my story. First Peter 5, 2, 3, and 4 is my crown of glory. The crown of rejoicing is the soul winner's crown. First Thessalonians is where it is found. In the second chapter, verses 19 and 20, I got two more left, and I ain't even out any less. Go to second Timothy, chapter 4, verse 5, the crowd of righteousness is a different kind of high. Last but not least, is an incorruptible crown. The book of First Corinthians is where it is found. Chapter 9 to be exact, 24 to 27. These are the crowns that I am stacking up in heaven, but it's all because you gave me and gave me something to do. So until my last breath, I'm going to watch this fight for you. If you vote, if you spit these lyrics, do it for the Father. If you do whatever you do, just do it for the Father. Our Father, who art heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. You forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But thou art the king, and the power, and the glory. Our power is the power. Amen. Hey, 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 hey. You were listening.